Vera Jones, who, who's this course for? You know what? I mean, if there was an ideal avatar in my head, I mean, I can think of a lot of people. I would say it's usually one or two of two people. The first is I'm very direct. I just say what's on my mind. And sometimes it comes across as being very curt uh, or short. And I struggle sometimes leading people uh, because I have this, why can't everybody just grow up and get along attitude? That's person number one. So sometimes they they come across a little bit too gruff. Yeah, I can second pick someone right now for that. Uh, <laughs> the second person um, is kind of just the opposite, almost the polar opposite. They're very conflict avoidant. I don't, you know, I, I hate, oh, I, I literally get upset when I, I think about people not getting along. I don't like to cause conflict. I bite my tongue so much that it bleeds because I don't know how to speak my mind. That would be the second. So you either get uh, the fight or the flight. And that's really what I work with. All right, perfect. And what's what's one, what's like, tell me a little bit about the story on, on that you, it's in the longer video later on, but the story you're going to say of when you first realized this. Yeah, I, I had to har find out the hard way, the really, really hard way. I mean, I ended up in the hospital um, and they thought I was having a heart attack. I was 47 years old. And they, I mean, I had four different heart specialists come in trying to figure out what is going on with this lady. The short of the story is I really, I was in a situation where my son had recently been diagnosed with a brain tumor. I had a horrible boss. I mean, I'm just, whoa, you know, I had just conflict with this really bad boss. And on top of that, I had a really bad boyfriend and it, not, my inability to manage that stress is what put me in the hospital. Next thing I knew, you know, I missed days from work. Um, I couldn't believe it. My mother had died from a heart attack. So I was scared to death that I can't believe at 47, this has happened to me. I'm an athlete 30 pounds ago. I used to be an athlete. And um, yeah, so I was, I really, really struggled with this. And when it finally occurred to me, just how, how much I did not know how to manage my own conflict. And here I was misplaced through the foul. I was a leader. I was I, consulting other people on how to lead and how to do this thing. So that was a rude awakening for me. Um, and that was the beginning of, of me learning some life lessons that I wanted to teach others and then going to get certified uh, as a mediator, as well as a trainer in conflict resolution. So now I'm really good at it. No more heart scares. I'm good at it now. So what's what's one thing that someone right now, let's say they're getting the heart scares during that, what's one thing that they will get where they're working with you in the course that they'll on the other side that they'll they'll receive out of this by working with you? Conflict resolution is a mindset first and then a skill set. And a lot of people fail because they want to go by a bunch of rules. Uh if if a person is acting this way, let me look at my handbook. <laughs> I should react this way. And it doesn't work that way. My whole mantra is prioritize peace. And I teach you how to do that. I teach you how mindset to literally visualize what does peace even look like for you. And on top of that, one of the best things that they'll get out of the course is um, it's called the CDP, the Conflict Dynamics Profile. I profile everybody. I take you through an assessment and you'll be able to visually see exactly how you respond to conflict. Are you the fight guy or the flight girl, whichever it is, and you'll learn the techniques and the tactics to combat that. Stop doing the negative stuff. I'll teach you how to do the constructive stuff. That's how you get the mindset to prioritize peace because now you feel like you're equipped to handle it. That's the best part of all of this is the conflict dynamics profile. It's run through the Mediation Training Institute. Um, it changed my life. Really made me take a hard look at who I really was when conflict showed up. I didn't like the picture at all. Um, and I'm just a happier, better person. And I'm gonna help a lot of people do the same.